Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to prevent different objects or processes from waking up your computer accidentally. So sometimes you put your computer to sleep and you find that it'll turn back on automatically. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a few different things on how to hopefully resolve the problem without too much of a hassle. So we're going to start by going into our start menu, just left click on it one time. Type in system maintenance. One of the best matches should come back with something that says review your computer status and resolve issues. So Windows 7 might look a little different here. So if you go underneath maintenance, scroll down, it says automatic maintenance. Left click on change maintenance settings. Uncheck the box where it says allow scheduled maintenance to wake up my computer at the scheduled time. And then left click on OK. Once you've done that, I would suggest going and opening up the control panel again. So go back to the control panel tab over here. You can go through the start menu as well, however you prefer to open up the control panel. You want to go and change your view by up here to large icons. And then you want to go and left click on power options. Whatever plan is currently selected, it'll have a circle filled in. You want to left click on change plan settings and then change advanced power settings, click on that. Once you're in this, you want to go and expand the sleep section, so click on the little plus next to it, and then sleep after, click on the plus again. So at this point, if you wanted to change how often your computer will go into sleep, you could set that there. But the more important thing is going to say allow wake up timers, so setting is enabled. If you want to disable that, we want to turn it off. So left click on enable, change it to disable and there might also be a setting for batteries as well you want to do the exact same thing so underneath w allow wake up timers you want to disable that so once you've done that you can left click on apply and OK now we are going to go open up our device manager so close out of here type in device manager Best match should say device manager above control panel. Left click on that. Now we're going to go to some of our common devices here. So something that you think would be able to wake up your computer. So there's going to be four devices that are more than likely are going to affect that. So just the first thing we're going to look at would be our keyboard device. So go underneath keyboards, expand that. Should be a keyboard listed under here. If you right clicked on it and then left click on properties. There sometimes would be a tab that says power management and there would be a box that says allow the device to wake up this computer. You just would want to uncheck that. Now some of these might actually have them listed in here, so if I went under some of them. I'm not currently seeing it on my device here, but there might be a tab on yours that if you go underneath properties, again there would be a power management tab next to events or resources. I don't have either one of those tabs on my device here, but if you clicked on it, there would be something that says allow this device to wake up the computer you would want to uncheck that and then click on apply and OK. So you'd want to do that for a few different things. So for example, the keyboard device, any wireless network adapters as well. So if you have a network adapter in here, we're going to properties. We do have a power management tab on this one. So if we see it says allow this device to wake up the computer, we could uncheck that so that will not allow the device to wake up the computer and then click on OK. Basically, you could just run through all of these just to give you guys a very simple idea. However, I would suggest not going too crazy with it. So if you want to keep your keyboard or mouse or when you open up your laptop later, your computer goes off sleep mode and goes back to normal Windows operating mode. Just want to be a little cautious with that. But if you don't want your network adapter turning your computer back on, this tutorial might have just shown you guys how to resolve that issue. So pretty straightforward and there's something you could do through Event Viewer but that's a little complicated I don't think it's really necessary but I do hope that one of these methods I went through in this tutorial should have resolved the issue pretty safely pretty straightforwardly and as always thank you guys for watching I do hope I was able to help you out and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.